So when it comes to me producing grime, typically I start with the drums, then I work on the bass and then the melodies and everything else just comes after that. And um, I actually have some drums here that I made earlier. It's just a simple 16 bar loop. And I'm going to add in a sample of how I would approach progressing this beat. And then I'm gonna just see where we go with that and then potentially make a bass line with it. So for this, if I just show you, So I would personally add a brass sample, which I actually have in Splice already, and I'm going to just make that to my own taste. Um, it's something very typically done in grime, especially the older generation, is you would always have that iconic brass sample in there. And um, I think because I was in a lot of the older generation grime, it's just a habit that will always stick with me. So I've got one that I like here, and I'm going to draw in a melody. If I just show you how that sounds. One thing I'm going to add before I do it is a reverb. It's something I just think in this style of genre, it works really well together. And it's just always been something back in the day I would add to. Quite a lot of reverb in this case. Again, takes the low end slightly out. Okay, and press record. Okay, quantize these and then see how that sounds. I can already see as well that my notes, the volume, they're not hitting the same. So I'm going to make sure they are all equal. So I would go Command A to highlight them all and then bring these up. And now that they're all the same, that's good. So one thing I do want to do, so when working with one shot samples, in Ableton especially, it's something really good that I love, is when you can drag your samples into this here and you can literally customize them to your own taste. And one thing I want to add is the release here. I want to make sure that this is fully extended so that no matter how long I hold the note down for, it's going to play the whole sample. So if I show you what I mean. But if I take the release down to where it was, it's good for certain things, but in this case, I do want that all the way up. And I could change the attack if I wanted to, to see how hard it hits. But we want to have the full sample, so I will keep that down. Um, also, I would change my voice to one because we're not penciling an actual melodic piece. It's just a one note um, melody here. So if I was to press two notes at the same time, you're only going to get one note playing. And if I was doing something like you hear all the notes, but if I was to have this to say seven, for example, all the notes overlap, so I don't want that. So I generally keep that to one, so everything sounds nice and clean. So at this point, I would probably add some sort of melody over that. And that could be anything. With Grime, I used to just search for random one-shots because you find the most quirkiest things to make a melody out of that you never would usually think to do. So I would just type um, like a stab or something, see what comes up and then make something out of that.
like this. I'm going to put this in and see how this sounds. So I will turn my release up on that. Because it's a very quiet sample, I'm going to just raise this slightly with a compressor. This is more just for volume boosting than processing right now. And then I would draw in my MIDI clip. Again, I'm going to add some reverb to this new sound. Just reduce this slightly because I don't want too much reverb. So if I just play what we've got, and then I will just freestyle until I find something I like. I'm going to take the low end out of this sample slightly. Quantize and then Add all the same volume again on velocity. I'm going to clean these up just slightly by there. Add some delay, because I think it could suit in this example. place, we'll correct that and put that here. Alright, I'm happy with that for now. I would also add some filter, just a little bit, so that these aren't too sharp in the mix. And what I mean by that is I would have it sort of around there so that the brass is the main sound that kind of punches through in the mix. Another little thing that I would add to my older grime stuff is I would also filter my brass. What I mean is I would drag an auto filter, because it's my favorite filter personally, and then I'll just play these on loop. So what I want to do is manually modulate how my filter works on these brass samples. So I would highlight here, which has frequency. So this red line now controls how much I'm doing. So if I want this to raise up as it travels, I would add sort of this kind of formation. You can do whatever you want with it. You can go make it look as ugly as possible if you want to just have something really quirky in there. But I would personally have it something like this. And then that would be the first stage of my melodies into how I would approach grime. <laughs> 